Shake your arm a little and put them on your lap. Put your feet on the floor. Let the breathing exercise help you focus and centering. Whenever you feel distracted, focus back on breathing. And today I'm reading from Book of Psalm, chapter 103, verse 1 to 4. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefit, who forgives all your sin and heal all your diseases, who redeem your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Book of First Thessalonians chapter 5, six, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly light, who does not change like shifting shadow. Let take free deep breath. And I'm going to read the passage for the second time. Please pay attention what was stood out to you. And you may put both of your hand where your heart is and pump your heart gently as I read the scripture. And as we do the breathing after each scripture reading, please repeat the word that stood out to you in your mind as you do the breathing. Now here is the scripture again. Book of Psalm, chapter 103, verse 1 to 4. Praise the Lord my soul, all my inmost being, pray his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul, and forget not all his benefit, who forgive all your sins and heal all your diseases, who redeem your life from the pit and crown you with love and compassion. Book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly light, who does not change like shifting shadows. Now take another three deep breath. And I want you to spend the next two minutes in quiet, reflective prayer. And I just want you to pray to the Lord and ask the Lord to reveal to you what He wants you to understand from the passage. After the two minutes, we will refocus on breathing.
and let's focus on for a deep breath again. The heavenly Father, thank you for your and yes, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise your holy name. That we should not forget your benefit, the the salvation that you give us, that you forgive all our sin and heal all our diseases, redeem our life from the path of destruction, and crown us with love and compassion. And because you first love us, we have this overflowing love for other people. And yes, let us always rejoice and pray continually, regardless what happened, and give thanks in all circumstances, knowing that you have a plan to prosper and not to harm us. That in the end, you fight over the devil already when you're on the cross. You overcome the world already. There's nothing we have to fear about. You break the bondage of sin for us when you're on the cross. And as we accept you as a savior, you redeem us, and you and you show us compassion. You reconcile with us, and you show us the way, the way to love, the way to rejoice in you. And yes, every good and perfect gift is from you, from above, from heavenly Father, from heavenly light. And you are forever unchangeable. You are forever faithful. That we can hold on to your promises and believe in you, because you do not change, and you are trustworthy. You always keep your promises, and we can trust that when you say you will no one perish, you really mean that. And when you say that you have a plan to. Prosper and not to harm us. You really mean that. And let us just remember how precious is this gift of your blood that allow us to come forward to you directly to get consolation, to get reservation, renew our hope directly from you. We no longer need the priest. God, the Jesus is the priest. For us, in the seat for us, we don't need a human priest anymore. We don't need to do any more sacrifice because Jesus already atoned for all of our sin. That we can just enjoy the benefit that we come forward you to embrace you to talk to you just as we are, because you just expect us to come to you just as we are. Because you understand our weakness, that's what you want us to come to you when we are in trouble, when we sin against you, when we have doubt. Just come to you. You're calling us over and over again. Just come to you and tell you everything and ask anything that we need, and you will give it to us because you are our heavenly Father. And let not let the devil do. Condemn us and make us feel like we should avoid you because the price is already paid. We have to cherish this privilege of us that we can come directly to you. And let us just remember that you already redeem us, and that you have put your law in our heart. You have put love in our heart, put compassion in our heart, and that we shall continue to pray to, to. Get renewed from you. That we will rejoice always in all circumstances, because although we suffer in Christ, we rejoice because the great peace that comes from having a personal relationship with you is so great that everything else just doesn't matter. That your presence with us is enough for us. And I pray all this in Christ's name. And let's take another free deep breath. And I want to read the passage for the third time, and pay attention to a word or two that will help you to recall and meditate on the word throughout your day. Whenever you feel stressed or need anything from the Lord, just quiet yourself for thirty seconds. Focus on breathing. And recall the experience and the word that will help you remember this passage. 
And as we do breathing after each scripture reading, just repeat the word that stood out to you in your mind as you do breathing. Let's read the scripture of the third time. Book of Psalm, chapter 103, verse 1 to 4. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise his lowly name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefit, who forgives all your sin and heal all your disease, and who redeem your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Book of First. Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Book of James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heaven and light, who does not change like shifting shadows. Now let's take another free deep breath. Thanks God for your word. Your word is sufficient today, yesterday, and forevermore. Pray all in Christ's name. Amen. Slowly shake your arm and leg, and shut your shoulder as you open up your eyes again.